So hi, everyone. My name is Martin Williams, and thank you for purchasing the One Idea System. Uh, for all of you creative people out there, you know the struggle of having a million business ideas swirling around in your head, and it can be really overwhelming when it comes time to take action. And that's why I created this system to help you turn ideas into action and focus on the ones that are uh, going to give you the highest chance of success. So I'm going to jump right into it. Step one, you're going to brain dump your ideas. So you're going to grab a workbook, you know, the workbook that comes with the uh, system. And you can print this out or there's an editable, editable, excuse me, <laughs> uh, portion where you can uh, put your responses in. And basically, we're going to get all these ideas out of your head and onto something tangible, right? So I'm going to write down just a few ideas here <coughs> to just kind of give an example of the types of things that you can do. All right, so we'll start with website course. And then the next one can be a real estate course. And then the next one can be a writing course, right? So, <clears throat> excuse me, you have all these different ideas, okay? And and obviously, you know, you can have a lot more than this and, and you can just list them out. But the point is you want to get them out of your head, okay? And you again, you can do this in the digital manner, or you can also print this out and then do it by hand. Okay. The next step is to estimate how long these things are going to take. Okay. And this is this again is something that you can do by hand. And if you're following along in the workbook, <coughs> these things are listed out for you. <coughs> Pardon me. These things are listed out for you. So you want to get practical about how long these things might take. Uh, so take your four or five ideas and then estimate how long each one would take to bring it to life. So remember, things often take longer than we expect, especially if it's something that we haven't done before. So it might be best to overestimate than underestimate, right? Uh, if something, if you think something you can bring to, to life and push out in 30 days or less, that's going to get a higher score than something that might take one to three months and even a higher score if it's going to take three to six months and then, uh, six months or longer, uh, we'll give that the lowest score. Okay. The next step is what we call the motivation meter. Okay, so how much do you care about this thing that you want to put out? Okay, and I'm going to blow this up a little bit so it's a little more visible. All right, so how much do you care about this thing that you want to put out? And I, I separated this out into four different categories. So very motivated is like going to see your dream concert, okay? Uh, your, your favorite band or something like that. Like there's nothing you would do to miss that opportunity. Somewhat motivated is a fun outing, like going to top golf or something like that. It's fun, but it's not life changing. Meh is like grocery shopping. It's necessary, but it's not exciting. Okay. And then the last thing not motivated, think about going to the DMV or paying your taxes or something like that, right? So choose the one that fits your enthusiasm for creating this thing that you want to put out into the world, okay? Um, obviously, the more motivated you are, the higher the score will be. Then the next one, this one's going to take a little bit of work, but, you know, it's not really an exact science, but we want to measure the demand of the thing that we're putting out. Okay. So for instance, 
if someone were to, we'll take our website <clears throat> example, excuse me. And if I were to Google how to make a website, okay, that's going to generate about 25 billion results. Now, obviously, all of those results are not how to make a website but you just get an idea of how much demand there is. Number one, there's a huge demand for it because it wouldn't generate this, these many results if there wasn't a lot of people putting this into Google, right? So if you're someone that creates web design courses, the next question you want to ask is, or the next thing you want to Google search is website course and then put that in. So that generates about 13 billion. Okay. That's less than the results that we have for how to make a website. Now, again, this is a very rough estimate. I'm not an SEO expert. Some SEO experts would probably be, you know, drawing their keyboards right now if they were. <laughs> listening to this, but my point is, is that we just want to get a general idea of demand versus supply. There's more people looking for how to make a website versus courses that are being offered, right? And then you can drill down to the different platforms. So for instance, if it's Shopify, so how to make a Shopify website, okay? Now that's about 220 million, okay? And if I were to put in Shopify course and I already looked this up, that's 229 million, okay? So, Again, not an exact science, but it seems like this demand's being met pretty well, okay? Um, WordPress, we'll just try that just for illustrative purposes, okay? How to make a WordPress website, okay? That comes out at about 500 and... 58 million results, okay? And then when I look up WordPress course, it's about 660 million. So again, not a, you know, probably the demand is being met pretty well, okay? So that's just some ideas on how to measure demand. If you're, you know, very skilled in SEO research, you can probably go even deeper than that. But for me, that particular tactic that I just showed you works pretty well. Um, again, just to get an idea of the demand. So the more demand that there is for something, that's going to get a higher score. So very needed would be three points. Somewhat needed, which is what we just saw here, right? Not exactly equal, but kind of equal, we get two points. And then if it's not something that a need that I could find, that's going to get one point. Okay. So the final step here is to multiply all the scores. Okay. And what you're going to do is that you're going to go to the workbook, and, and this is going to be in your purchase email when you. When you buy it, you're going to get a link to this workbook. And what you will, what you want to do is, is that you want to make a, a copy of this so it's yours, right? Um, and what this will do is that you're going to put in each one of your ideas, and then you're going to put in the estimated time, right? So that's three, one to three months, motivation level. I'm very motivated I love WordPress, right? So that'll be a four. And then the need in the marketplace is somewhat needed, 
right? And that's a two, right? And then here, the formula is already worked out. So all you got to do is drag that down, and that's going to be 24. Now, versus making a scrapbook, this has a higher total score. So this is going to be the one that I work on. Does that make sense? The higher the score, the more, you know, the more likely you should work on it. Okay. And just play with this a little bit. This is really for people who have a hard time deciding, have a hard time committing, have a hard time filtering out ideas. This is something that I think can work for a lot of people. It's simple. You can work through it uh, fairly quickly and it gets you into action which is what we all want. So thank you again for purchasing this, uh, this system and, you know, I hope it helps you.